Hello and welcome to the Advaita Decoding Reality podcast. In today's episode, I will talk about the consciousness evolution journey. We will look at how consciousness from its unmanifested state manifests itself in infinite number of ways through this universe. This consciousness evolution journey is simply a theory from the perspective of a human mind. With that, let us get into today's episode. First, let us start with the basic premise of Advaita Vedanta. As per the teachings of the ancient Upanishads, consciousness is fundamental. Pure consciousness existed before the creation of the universe and pure consciousness exists in the form of universe. Technically, the entire universe and all of us are made of the same substance. and that substance is pure consciousness that pure consciousness has manifested in infinite number of ways through this universe this is what we need to understand first so right now we will go deep and understand the evolutionary journey of consciousness so look at this from an open mind and just think about this as a thought experiment with that let us come to the core of this video at first before the creation of the universe pure intelligence or pure consciousness existed by itself it is an inert state of pure consciousness there was no manifestation of the universe there was nothing apart from that pure consciousness this state is called as avyakta or the unmanifested state as per the teachings of vedanta and this pure consciousness started exploring itself and to explore itself through the power of maya it projected the universe within itself so the universe that we see all around us was a projection within that pure substance that pure consciousness and for the creation of the universe at first the five sukshma panchabhutas were created these are the five subtle elements of space air water fire and earth and from these five subtle elements the five gross elements the pancha mahabhutas were created these are the five elements that we can see and feel the fire the space the air and the earth that we can see and feel and from these five primary elements the rest of the universe was created as explained by science from a single point of origin through big bang or whatever phenomenon this universe instantly came into being and this universe started expanding the universe existed in extreme high temperatures in gaseous states at first and later on the universe started cooling down and different solar systems and different planets came into being and after the planets and the solar system were stable water came into existence due to various chemical reactions and then due to the presence of water small microbial organisms came into existence and after this we all know the story of evolution and natural selection where complex life forms came into existence on planet earth first they were aquatic beings then amphibious beings then animals birds and later on human beings at this point what we need to realize is that since before the creation of the universe there was one primary substance pure consciousness that existed whatever was created thereafter can be nothing apart from that pure consciousness alone that consciousness itself has manifested itself in infinite number of ways through this universe so that pure consciousness which is an absolute infinite explores itself through this universe and through this universe we can see the evolution of consciousness which is the primary substance of the universe at first it manifests as inert inanimate objects like planets and galaxies later on it 
begins to evolve and it experiences itself through animals birds etc after all this human beings come into picture now the peculiar thing about the human species is our intellect we can think about the nature of reality we can understand this reality for what it is so through this faculty of intellect we can understand this entire existence for what it is now try to imagine this if there was just one substance one primary substance and the entire universe and everything that we see is one single substance then there cannot be any expansion as such there cannot be any movement as such there cannot be anything as such because if there is only one thing that exists then there cannot be any experience itself because for us to have an experience and for an experience to happen there needs to be a subject there needs to be an object and there needs to be a subject object split so that consciousness through its manifestation as the universe it experiences itself by forgetting what it truly is and it goes through various experiences as animals birds etc but the human species as i said earlier has the capability to understand this and to realize what it truly is here the teachings of upanishads and vedanta tell us that me and you can realize who we truly are we can understand truly that we are that infinite consciousness within which the universe emerged in the first place so we are not technically these simple limited individual beings with a body and mind instead we are that infinite consciousness that gave rise to this universe in order to experience itself and in order to experience the world this is what we need to understand so let us quickly go through the evolution of consciousness from the beginning at first pure consciousness existed all by itself this is the state of non manifestation the state of avyakta or the unmanifested state after this the pure consciousness starts exploring itself through the manifested universe this is the state of vyakta or the manifested state initially the five subtle elements panchabhutas are created and through the interplay of these five primary elements the rest of the universe is created and the universe slowly begins to evolve it starts expanding and various planets solar systems etc come into being and after this within a planet living organisms come into picture and then through the process of evolution and natural selection complex organisms come into existence after a certain amount of time human beings come into picture and human beings through the process of enlightenment can realize the nature of reality and realize themselves to be that infinite consciousness thus completing the cycle of the evolution of consciousness this is an apparent cycle through which the universe goes and through the process of enlightenment that pure consciousness which gave rise to this universe will realize itself for what it is now what is enlightenment enlightenment and the process of enlightenment is elaborately explained in various vedantic texts and various works of shri adi shankaracharya basically enlightenment is the process of disidentification with our body and our minds and recognizing and acknowledging our true nature for what it is and experiencing our self for what it is this is enlightenment most of us right now have identified ourselves with our bodies and our minds so we think that we are our body and our mind this is in reality not true we are that infinite consciousness that started the journey before the creation of the universe and we are that infinite consciousness in which the universe has emerged and once we realize that we will come out of the limited identification 
and we will complete the cycle of evolution of consciousness. So this is the most important difference between any other animal or a bird and a human being. We can recognize and realize the nature of this reality and the nature of self. And this is a pursuit in which all of us must be interested in. And this is a pursuit in which all of us should be in. I hope this was valuable to you. If you want to go deeper to understand these concepts and to consciously create your life the way you truly want to live, then check out our community come learning platform, the Advaita Conscious Society. You can find more information on this by visiting advaita.com.